Right, today is Sunday the 28th of June and it's day 24 of the cycle. So I started treatment on the 5th of June. So yeah, today is the 28th, which would be day 24. Now, what has happened? I noticed last night, I ran my fingers through my hair and I noticed a few strands of hair. And then today I've been in the shower, still in my lovely white dressing gown. And as I was washing my hair, I noticed a lot more hair. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but my, um, my dressing gown is covered in hairs. I don't know if it's showing up. There's just hair everywhere. Give it a little run through. Well, we've got a few coming out. Just a couple there. Um, so, it looks like my hair is starting to fall out. I know I said I was trying to do some meditations to keep it, but it started falling out. Maybe it's just going to thin and out and it's not actually going to completely fall out. But I've started thinking of some positives if it is going to fall out. I will shave it off. I'm not going to do it just yet. I'll give it a couple of days, see how it progresses. Last year when it started falling out, I ended up with a bald patch like right in the middle here. And I was trying different hairstyles to cover it up. And then I just thought, no, let's just shave it off. So today, yeah, I'm not going to do anything drastic. not going to shave it off. It might just be thinning out. Uh, I can't see any visible bald patches yet. I'm going to stop touching it as well. And yeah, the positives. So it's actually at that length now. Let me show you the back. It's at that length where... If I don't wash it in the morning, I have really bad bed head. So if I shave it, it's actually going to be at that length then where it's fine. I can just get up in the morning and go. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need like, much attention. Um, another positive is that I already have hats, wigs, chemo scarves, caps, whatever they're called. I've already got the lot. So I don't need to reinvest in anything. So I've got everything already from last time still. And also, yeah, I, as much as I said I wanted to keep my hair, I also don't like it falling out around me and just covering, ending up covering me, getting all over my shoulders. Look, there's like three pieces there. So I actually would much prefer to just shave it all off instead of dealing with it falling out in clumps and that. So yeah, a few positives. And yeah, as much as I said I didn't want to lose my hair, that I was trying to keep it, that I was encouraging it to stay, it's just part of the chemotherapy. So the chemotherapy works by targeting fast-growing cells, which is why it can kill the cancer cells, but your hair is also fast growing, which is why most people lose hair. And inside the nose, there's some other fast growing cells. I'm not sure about others, but um, with, the, with the nose, when you're having chemotherapy, your sense of smell becomes really heightened because those cells keep growing very quickly and becoming new. So last year I was on a plane to, so I was going to Stockholm, the lady behind me was wearing a really strong perfume, but usually when someone's wearing a perfume you get used to the smell of it, but hers, every time she moved I could smell her perfume. I think it's two hours, two hours something, and throughout the whole two hours I could smell her perfume every time she moved, and it was because of these fast growing cells and they kept regenerating and heightening my sense of smell. So, yeah, I guess it's expected for hair to go, sense of smell to become heightened. 
and cancerous cells to go, hopefully. <laughs> so. Lots of hair. So today is Monday the 29th of June, which makes it day 25 of cycle one. Um, I've just had a bath, I'm about to go to bed. I've just had a bath and there was a lot of hair falling out. That was it in the bath. Um, it's not... It's not really visibly noticeable yet. But I can feel it. It really feels a lot thinner and lighter on top. No visible bald patches. Although I don't know about there actually. That looks a little bit thin. Uh... Yeah, I'm not feeling so enthusiastic about looking like an egg today. I'm hoping it'll stay, but if it's already started falling out, it probably will all fall out. Um, yeah, let's see what happens over the next couple of days, I suppose. Today is Wednesday the 1st of July and here is a little hair update so it still continues to fall out but it's quite remarkable actually how much you can lose and it doesn't really look too obvious it's definitely thinner and you can see a lot more scalp when I move it and it feels like there's a lot less hair there now and hands are constantly looking like this every time I touch my hair mm. might leave it till the weekend and then So it's Saturday the 4th of July, here is the current situation, there's a lot more scalp, hair is just falling out all the time, um, so tomorrow I'm going to have it shaved off. I'm actually feeling okay about it now because oh, it's just so annoying having it falling out everywhere. Look at it. It looks so thin. Yeah, not a good look. So, all those hairs. Yeah, it's time for you to go. Um, I've wet my hair today in the bath. I didn't think there was any point wasting shampoo on it because it's all falling out anyway. So yeah, let's say goodbye to the hair because tomorrow you're going. What, what does the back of my hair look like? Fucking <laughs> roses, you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. What number do you want? Three, please. I think that says it's three. I can't really see it. It's buzzing about. Oh, no, that, yeah. Oh, that's what I need for the, um, for the envelope. Yeah. Look at the roses. <laughs> Are they just falling out?
Mm -hmm. Right, haircut done. Well, I just bashed my head on the uh, kitchen bar whilst I was hoovering up, so that's what that is. And this, <laughs> I cut a lock of my hair off. Um, I cut it a bit too short, I guess, because now I've got a nice little hole there. So this hole is probably going to be here for the next however long because I doubt the hair will be growing back anytime soon. And at the moment I'm so itchy. Oh my god. So I'm going to go and get a shower. Okay, so I've forgotten how much I like this hairstyle. It is so, so easy. I don't need to worry about anything, even like bedhead isn't a problem now. And yeah, I think it's fine. Looks good. Uh, interestingly, so despite how much has been falling out, it doesn't actually look like there are any noticeable like lumps, except the one thing that... <laughs> I did the one thing I did myself cutting that lock of hair off oh well it's just hair so yeah feeling quite good um, there is hang on in the shower I was going like this and I was getting a lot of hair coming out yeah, there is still a fair bit of hair coming out. But at least now, if it's falling out like this, it's a lot more manageable than having the longer hair falling out everywhere. So, yeah. Mm. I look like a bit of a thug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 